Hello everyone, my name is Alex, and this video will describe what a chiasma is and how one forms. First, I'd like to explain what a bivalent is. A bivalent is one pair of chromosomes in a tetrad, with a tetrad being the association of a pair of homologous chromosomes physically held together by at least one DNA crossover. So what you see here are four homologous chromatids, or two homologous chromosomes. This physical attachment you see allows for alignment and segregation of the homologous chromosomes in the first meiotic division. So homologous chromosomes will pair during the long prophase of meiosis I. During this, a recombination can occur between the non-sister chromatids in each bivalent. In the process, the maternal and paternal homologs can physically swap homologous chromosomal segments, resulting in an event called crossing over. So here are two homologous chromosomes aligned, and here we have two segments crossing over. The result looks like this, where we have recombinant chromatids here and non-recombinant chromatids here. When a meiotic prophase ends, each bivalent will remain held together by at least one chiasma, with the plural of this word being chiasmata. Each chiasma corresponds to a crossover between two non-sister chromatids. So in the figure I drew here, this would be the chiasma. Most bivalents contain more than one chiasma indicating that multiple crossovers occur between homologous chromosomes. An example of this is the human oocyte, which are the cells that give rise to the egg. These have an average of two to three crossover events occurring within each bivalent. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you can now comprehend what a chiasma is and how it results from a crossover event.